good morning, good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day on Grandad's old farm. It's seven o'clock in the morning. We've just woken up, and it's autumn is upon us. I'm getting stuck on a door. Autumn's upon us. It's September. In the last video, we finished off the grass work for Patrick, and then we kind of hit the hay. We came back, did a few bits of tidying up and things, but then we hit the hay. But today, we have got 41,000 sat on our bank account, and we are going to do some things with it. I have got some really, really good ideas of what we want to do. We've still got the bees here. Are they doing anything? Oh, they're asleep. Do they not? Maybe they don't work in uh, at night time, which wouldn't make sense. That's what bees do. But anyway, we have got some things we want to do today. And these things are down here at our field. We're not quite yet in a position to work on the field. We need to get rid of these tree stumps that are littering the field and these bushes as well. For that, we're going to need to buy quite a lot of equipment we're going to need to get ourselves a tractor which we might be able to do today potentially we can see what's in the sale at the shop uh we need to buy ourselves a tractor we need to buy ourselves a mulch or a stump grinder to get rid of all these stumps i can't remember exactly where they are is that one there no that's just mud but yeah there's a lot to do in this field which isn't going to be today's video what we're going to do today is going to be all about getting some extra bits and pieces in to make us some more money we want to get some greenhouses i want to hopefully get some livestock down here i want to get some chickens down this part here because it our, our border runs from the edge of this grass field here all the way up i think to this bush line yes as far as we can go because that's the other map we can't go any further than that so all that is ours so we're going to start off by jumping into the build menu and see if we can get ourselves some production places we want some greenhouses now there's three different sizes of greenhouse i'm not sure which ones are actually going to fit so let's have a look greenhouse that's a little greenhouse that's going to fit fine that's one's going to fit fine as well and that big one it's a bit tight isn't it and i don't think we can do it but it's going to overlap into our field so we're not going to go for that but what we are going to go for is one of these two, or maybe multiples of these this one here is 3,000. We can get it for about 330, sitting right on the edge of our boundary there. And then we've got the, the double one, which is 5,000. We're actually going to make a lot more financial sense to go for. I think we're going to get, get some multiples of these in because you can grow lettuces, tomatoes, strawberries. All they need is water, which we'll get onto in a bit. But we're going to get some of those in. So we can't really get our camera over there just because of the way where the edge of the map goes. But what we want to do is start putting some of these in. What I think we're going to do here is we're going to try, eventually we need to get a bit more resource and understand how these things work, but get the path coming up all the way along here and then have it all the way down the edge of this field. Get it graveled, maybe get it um, asphalted, something along those lines, because I think it's just going to make the aesthetic of the place look really, really nice. And that's something I'm really, really big on. I'm just noticing my money changing. Is it going up or going down? It's 326 at the moment. I'm not sure if it's going up or going down. If it is going up, I'm not sure how. I don't think we've got anything that's making money. All we've got is the beehives, and that should be making honey, which sits there. Maybe it's going down. Maybe we're, we're using something that is going up. I'm not sure why. Uh, thank you for the person who said in the comments, we are losing money because of the chainsaw, of the fuel it uses. Yes, I hadn't even thought of that. But thank you for that comment. That was amazing. But let's get some greenhouses in. How far back can we go? We can go about that far back. Let's start about here. They're 5,000 to go. So is that square with that field? So this is something this is like really kind of... Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I think we're going to go... In fact, is that square? Yeah, it's pretty bang on, isn't it? We're going to go just next to that bush and go, I think, uh, just one pixel in there. We'll get one in there. It clears out the grass for us, which is pretty cool. Let's go down a bit. And get another one in next to it. Because you have got the pickup point, which is just down the side. So we probably need to leave a little bit of extra space so we can get a trailer in there to pick it up. I think we get three of these. That's 15,000. That takes us down to 26. We might be able to do something with a tractor for that. And let's just check on spacing because I want it to look nice. I think if we go about there it's about the same again there we go so let's go and have a look at these and then we can work out what we need to do three glorious greenhouses not at all lined up that we might be able to fix that later these are double greenhouses we can only grow i think one type one type of crop 
within them. So if we go over here, we can look at the production here and we can grow tomatoes, lettuce, or strawberries. In fact, we can choose it all from here, which is quite cool. So we'll probably just do one of each. So we'll just like tomatoes, maybe, oh, that's cycles per month, isn't it? We can also, in fact, we can have a look up here and see how much we make, we can get for these currently in earning grass. So what can, what can we get? Where are the tomatoes gone? Tomatoes there, 790. Strawberries, not that great. Lettuces, smashing it. So we're going to do one of each. I think it just makes most sense. But something we do need to do is fill up our water tank. We need to go back to the shop in the Land Rover. I hope it's open. It's only quarter past seven in the morning. We're going to head back over to the shop and get ourselves a water tank. And then we need to go about having to how to fill that up, which I'm not quite sure how to do yet. But we're going to figure it out. So we'll see you at the shop. Okay, we're at the shop. So we need to get ourselves a water tank of some form. Now, are they in here somewhere? Water tanks, water tanks. What's it going to be in? I can't see anything obvious. There, I can't see. I'm, I'm looking at the pictures, which is classic, just to see if I can find a uh, water tank. I can't see it. Is it in miscellaneous at the bottom? There's the signs. <gasps> we can replenish the sign at our house. We'll take one of those with us. Maybe at a later date. No, there's no water tanks there. Uh, bear with me. I'm just going to do some research. Uh, so they're in the animal section. So we're going to animals. We've got the Abbey Attachments 550 here. Can, can hold just over 2,000 litres. That will do us. At three grand, that is an absolute bargain. We're going to buy that now wonderful and now we need to fill it up now i'm reliably informed by our dear friend patrick that to fill this up we just need to take it to a river or any water source lake sea pond reverse it up and it should then be able to reach the water and we can fill her up so what we're going to do i'm going to hook her up there we're going to drive over to the beach just outside here so kind of just across from where we are we're going to drive over here Probably come down here past the uh, past the animal dealer there and see if we can reverse up to the lake here because that is a big lake there. And hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves, fill our tank up with water and then go and fill up all of the greenhouses so we can start growing some produce. I'm not quite sure how quick the produce grows, but we're going to find out. It's all an adventure. I'm hoping it's not too long. I hope we can get a decent return on our investment because we have put in 15,000 just over 15,000 into these which is a lot of money but we're going to go and have a look i'm just going to take this moment in the video to say thank you huge thank you to everyone who's continuing to enjoy this series it's an absolute blast to make i am almost wanting to play it constantly it's ridiculous how much i'm enjoying it but thank you so much to everybody who has liked who has subbed who has commented and generally enjoying the content it means the absolute world that people out there are enjoying it as much as i am if you haven't already, please consider doing that. Hit that like button and subscribe because I'm going to be bringing out some more content soon. I've got some other videos up my sleeve, which I'm working on. They're a bit, a bit different to this one, uh, but they're going to be really good. But no, thank you very much for the support. It is absolutely amazing. Right, we've got here, and it looks a bit on the steep side. I was hoping it might be a little bit more shallow. Mate, is it shallower down here? Or we, we're going to go off the map, I think, if we go up here too far. It just looks really steep. I don't fancy it. There, that doesn't look too bad. Right next to the pier. I say not too bad. It's not ideal, but we're going to go for it. So let's reverse it back. I'm going to have to turn my controls on back on because I don't know what the control is to fill up the trailer. We'll learn it slowly. It's fine. But let's reverse gently back into I hope Patrick was right. If Patrick was wrong about this, he'd be in big trouble. Are we there yet? We're not quite at the water's edge yet. It's in the water. First you need to fill the tool. Why can't I? <gasps> fill water tank. There we go. We weren't quite far enough in. There we go. We're going to fill her up. All 2,000 litres. Just over 2,000 litres. I filled up. There we go. We've got 2,082 litres in our water tank. It is noticeably harder to get back up this hill. But we're going to do it. In Grandad's trusty old Land Rover. We've just gone over a rock. Great news. Perfect. So we've got that filled up. We are now going to take this back to the farm and hopefully this water will be enough to fill up all three of the greenhouses. We can see over there. You can see the three greenhouses. Absolutely epic. Let's not that way. Remember the way back to your own farm. Here we are. Perfect. 
And hopefully it'll be easy to fill up these tanks with water and we can get growing. Which would be amazing. We're just... We're going a bit off-road. We've got a lot of ballast on with the water, which isn't great, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Let's do this one first. I'm hoping we should get a little drop. Of, there we go. Right B and Y. Right B? Right bumper and Y. Is that going to take... That takes a nearly all of the tank. All of the tank. <laughs> For each one. Is that full now? It's uh, about a quarter full. So, yeah, there's going to be quite a few trips. I'm going to put 2,000 in each one. So we've got to start, get them growing, and then we'll top them all up after that. Probably off camera, because that's a lot, of, a lot of backs and forths to the river. But yeah, so I'm going to get that sorted, and I'll see you in a minute when they're all filled up. Wow, look at, the, look at the mist in the morning of coming off the hills. That's absolutely amazing. Anyway, we have finally, finally filled up these three this door's open why is that door open so that one's got 2000 in that one's got 2000 in and that one's got 2000 in they're all full up we are now going to get the production started i guess we go into here press l it's saving the game why not and this one we're going to start on strawberries this one lettuce this one tomatoes off we go it's using up the water as i said we're gonna have to fill that up off camera because that's going to be an absolute nightmare to do uh because we're gonna we, we should have got a bigger tanker really but you know we've still only got 20 grand in the pocket in the bank we don't want to be throwing out loads of money for these things so they're going to grow I, as i said before i'm not sure how long it takes to grow but when we get some product out of it when we get to go and sell things go and sell our produce we will come back to the save with that and it's going to be really good fun so now that's all done the next job we want to do is we want to get ourselves some chickens now let's put i might have not got the right angle of this let's put our water tank in the shed i have downloaded some mods for some chicken houses let's go and have a look at them because i even got a really nice location picked out so if we go into the build menu and if we go let's get this angle right if we go into animals and then chickens the only two options you've got in the base game are this massive chicken pasture in fact, it's not actually that big, is the chicken pasture? It's six grand, which is it's quite decent. And then you've got this chicken coop, which is absolutely huge. And it's 70 grand. It's massive. We don't want that. That can take 360 chickens. At the moment, we're only small time. These are the two I've downloaded. They're from the Pack with Small Chicken Coops mod. Really, really good. 1,500, 1,500 for the wooden one and 2,000 for the brick one. I really like the design of the brick, of the, sorry, of the wooden one. So we're going to get that. My only worry is, is it going to poke out and bump into our field? Maybe what we need to do is do it like that then. Let's try it like that and see how we get on. Maybe we go, how far? We can't go any further over that way. Can't go any further back. Let's try and put it about there. There we go. It's not, it's a, it's a bit rakey. I've had to do the placement on that a few times. Let's go and have a quick look at it on foot. But it, it does fit in quite nicely. The ground's a bit iffy around it. But it's a nice, simple little chicken coop. You've got the area here where the chicken drove. You can see where the grass cuts. We might put some fencing around it at a later date. We've got where the eggs will come out here. And then we've got... Oh, we need to put feed in. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can get ourselves. Can we buy ourselves some chickens or do we need to transport them? I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look actually in here and see if we go to animal transport. Is there anything that's chickens? Horses, horses, cows, pigs, sheep... Cows, pig, sheep, and that's it. I'm guessing chicken transport doesn't come into it. I'm guessing we don't have to transport chickens. We just buy them. Maybe we just buy them at this bit here. Animal dialogue. Oh, we do. Okay. So we can buy a rooster. Chickens that are not months old. Just but a chicks. Brand new. Brand, brand new chickens. Two months gestation period. Two months. Six months to puberty. And these guys are six months already. So these guys cost more, but will give us eggs straight off. These guys need six months to grow up. And the roosters, uh, they liven up the chicken coop, which is always good. So I think we're going to get... Let's get one rooster. We get a Is that delivery as well? Like that. Transport free is applied if you do not transport the animals yourselves with your own livestock trailer. Well, it didn't tell me I could do it. So we're going to stick with this. And then we're going to get... Yeah, let's get 20, let's get 20 uh, chickens. That's good. Excellent. We got the chickens have been purchased. Oh, they're already out and about. Love that. Welcome to Granddad's Farm, Chickaroos. There's a chick. No, a, I thought that was a chicken trying to get it, 
get Miss Strawberries then. How do we check out the health of them? Can we see that? Can we see? Health is 0%, but they need some food. Okay, so we need to get some food for them. That's okay. Right, so we need to get some chicken feed. We need some food for the chickens. So I think I saw that in this... That's Tractor Tom. That's not how this works. Um, let's go into here. Was there feed in here? Wheat is chicken feed there. So we've got wheat. Uh, was it... Was it pallets? Uh, nope, not there. Bags. Must be bags, surely. Got wheat, chicken feed, oats for horses. Okay, so we need to get some wheat. We can buy a big bag of wheat. But then, how do we transport it back? Because that will go to the shop, I assume. If we get a, a bag or a pallet. Are they the same weight as well? I'm not sure. Yeah, they are. That's slightly true. We're going to get a bag. Yeah, we've got a bag. Okay, so we've got a bag of chicken feed, but that won't be here, will it? That's at the shop. That's really not useful in this situation. Right. We're going to have to go and get in Grandad's tractor, Grandad's car, which the lights are on, but there's no one home. Let's uh, let's start the engine. We're going to need to take our trailer. We're going to have to get it re-customized. Thankfully, they didn't charge for this because this would cost us an absolute bomb. We need to get it re-customized to put the sides on. Oh, will we, though? Maybe we don't need to. Maybe we can just put it on and, and strap the, the bag, the feed bag down. Wow, so there we go. The wonderful guys at the shop, they got the little lifter out and they popped it on the trailer for me. We put the tension belts on and away we go. We can go back to the farm. Perfect. All this before, eight, before 9 o'clock in the morning. That's not bad, is it? Not bad service. Let's take this back. We can feed up the chickens. Oh, no, hang on. Tell a light. I've just thought there's something else I want to buy while we're here. And there it is, the Karcher pressure washer, which is what we were after, but we can't buy it and leave it here. Can I put it even on the trailer? No, even though that's owned by me. I need to go and put it on our land and we will drive back. And we'll round off the episode by feeding the chickens, first and foremost, and we will work out how we can hook up the pressure washer and clean off the Land Rover and our trailer. Absolutely disgusting Nick at the moment. So let's just, can we turn that around? I can turn it around so it just looks nice. And we'll just tuck it into this corner of the shed. There we go. We've done it. There we are. So let's let's hop back over to the farm and we can give this old Land Rover a quick clean, feed the chickens, and that'll be a fantastic start to our day. Okay, so I've had to make another investment. I've bought myself another trailer. It it was annoying me how we had to keep going back and forth to change kind of the, the way the trader was set up. So I went to the shop, bought another one, mainly because we can't give the chickens their chicken feed from the flatbed trader. We need this one. So we're going to fill it up with the chicken feed, which might use the whole bag up. We'll see. Thousand leaves. We've got our ton of chicken feed. And let's reverse this back up. Hopefully we don't run over any of the chickens. We've crashed into a bush, which doesn't really help, but let's reverse this up. Hopefully they move. There we go. Okay. Ah, see, now we can fill this up. Excellent. I was doing it before with it just in the pallet and it wouldn't let me do it. But now we can fill up the chicken feed and that is nearly all of it. 750 litres of that. But that's not too bad. That's pretty good. That's got the chickens fed. So hopefully, sooner rather than later, we're going to have some eggs that we can sell. We're going to have some tomatoes, some lettuce, some strawberries. And don't forget, we've got the honey from the bees up near the cottage which is absolutely amazing so one last job we're going to do i'm going to say for today but for this video because it is half eight in the morning we're just going to wash our land rover because it is an absolute state let's just park it up in there detach that let's drive it out here in fact can we put it over here just so we can actually access it with from the pressure washer because i imagine that's got to reach over is there a log in our garage have i just seen this where's that come from anyway turn on pressure washer how do we uh how do we do it activate hand tool oh there we go look at that is that cleaning it is it coming off i can't tell oh it is excellent we are cleaning it up quite nicely let's get the back as well the door's open but that's fine maybe it needs a washing side as well let's do the the, the wheels as well that is coming up beautifully i don't think it's been that clean since in 20 years granddad didn't keep it that clean but that is looking absolutely brilliant that is that done let's put that away now and there we have it but that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching it if you did enjoy 
please hit that like button and subscribe for some more content. I'll be back very, very soon on Granddad's Farm. Next time, who knows what we're going to do. Maybe we'll find another friendly neighbour to teach us how to do something. Maybe we'll finally attack this field, get rid of the stumps, get rid of these bushes and really make some moves on it and get ourselves farming properly. But as I said, hope you really enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.